everybody, uh, welcome to another lesson. Uh, today it's Green Day, Last of the American Girls. Uh, the song goes straight into the verse, but the guitar it doesn't actually kick in until around 30 seconds or so. Uh, it's going to be when Billy Joe sings, uh, she wears her overcoat for the coming of the nuclear winter. Uh, it's going to just sound like this then. <laughs> So it's really simple, a sort of one note pattern, apart from when it just goes again. You know that, and that's, you know, that's also really easy anyway. So index finger on fret 2, string number 5, 16 times. Then slide that up to fret 7 and play that 8 times. So... Okay. And then then, and then what we're going to do... If you look at the tab, we're going to also well, we're going to keep that finger where it is, but also play string six open. Okay, so then down to fret six twice, fret seven twice, then up to fret nine three times. Okay, so all right, and I'm just using my index finger for that. If you want, you can sort of use your index finger, your middle finger, and your little finger if you want. It's up to you. That's the first part. Look at the next part of the tab, it starts off the same at the fret 2, 16 times again, then go all the way up to fret 9 and play that 16 times, okay? So uh, in total, then right from the start of this verse, it'll just sound like this then. That's the verse. Alright, so the chorus then, uh, she's a runaway of the establishment, incorporated. Uh, that part's going to sound like this. Okay, so then, it's really simple octave shapes, you're not really going to be changing your finger, um, like the shape at all, it's just moving it up and down, okay, so index finger fret 9, string number 4, your little finger on fret 12, string number 2, and that means you've got a string 3 in the middle, you're going to have to mute that using the bottom of your index finger, lightly rest it on the string, so it'll be like that, going to play this chord shape 8 times, and then slide it down to 7 and 10, 8 times, so Okay, then go down to 9 and 6, and then play this 5 times, then go up to 12 and 9 twice, back down to 6 and 9 once, okay, so, so okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dun, 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 alright, so that's the first part, look at the next part of the tab, just going to go down to 5 and 8, 8 times, all the way back up to 9 and 12, 8 times, and then down to 4 and 7, 3 times, once you've played that, take the side of your hand, press it down on the string to stop it from ringing out. So, okay, so all together, then the chorus, right from the start. Okay, that's chorus A there then. Right, so next up we've got the bridge then, it'll just uh, sound like this then. Okay, that's guitar one, and uh, what we're going to be doing is just using our ring finger on our index finger. Ring finger, fret 13, string number 4. Index finger, fret 11, string number 3 back on with your ring finger and then what you're going to do is with your ring finger lay it down so you're covering string um, so you're covering fret 13 string number 3 then to the 11 with your index finger and then back on with your ring finger on fret 13 string 4 so do 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 okay the next part is so um, starting where we did before, 
Ring finger fret 13 string 4. Index finger fret 11 string 3. Back on with your ring finger. Then lay it down and play the string below. So that's string 3. And then index finger onto fret 11. So. Okay. And all we're going to do is play that entire pattern twice. So like this. Okay, that's guitar one. Guitar two is just some really simple power chords like this. Okay, so it's your yeah, index finger on fret seven, string number six. Your ring finger on fret nine, string five. Your little finger on fret nine, string number four. One, two, three, four. Then go down a string. One, two, three, four. And just keep doing that four times in total. So again. Okay, that's the bridge. Alright, so next up is verse B, uh, where he sings, she plays a vinyl record singing songs on the eve of destruction. And it's a pretty quiet kind of part, like you can't really hear it uh, too well. But it's just going to sound like this then. <laughs> Okay, so then, so what we're going to do then is lay your index finger down on fret 2, so you're covering strings 1, 2, 3 and 4, and then uh, you're going to put your ring finger onto fret 4, string number 3, and your little finger, fret 4, string 2, and then you're going to pick strings 1, 2 and 3, like this. Okay, from there then, all you're going to do, because we've already got our index finger, on string 2, on fret 2, string number 4, we can leave that where it is, we can leave our ring finger where it is, just move your little finger across to fret 5, okay, and then, okay, look at the tab now then, back to that first position, okay, and then from there, index finger, fret 6, string number 3, your middle finger, fret 6, string number 1, and stretch over then with your ring finger onto fret 7, string 2. Okay, so in total, it'll sound like this. Okay. That's verse B there then. So next up then we've just got the solo and it's going to sound like this then. Okay, so that's a solo there then. And then to start off with, index finger on fret 2 string number 5, ring finger, fret 4, string number 4, little finger, fret 4, string 3, and then back on with your uh, ring finger, so, okay, then index finger, fret 2, string 2, middle finger, fret 4, string 2, and then middle finger onto fret 5, back off, and then index finger goes up a string, so fret 4, string 3. Like that, okay. So, look at the tab, we're going to do it again. Alright, and then what we're going to do is exactly the same pattern, just further up this neck, okay. So, well, this time it's going to be fret 7, 9 and 10. So, like I say, exact same pattern. Okay, then it's... And that's all there is to it, okay? Same pattern, just further up the neck. So I'll do that again. Okay, so, so far. Okay, look at the tab now then. It's going to start off the same. Okay, the next part. Okay, 
they're really easy. And uh, all we're doing there then is your index finger on fret 4, string number 5. <coughs> Middle finger, fret 4, string number 4. <coughs> Back onto string 5. <coughs> so, <coughs> okay. Then just drop your index finger down to fret 3, string number 3 and your middle finger onto fret 4, string number 3. You're going to play that, bend it up, release it, take off your middle finger and play uh, fret 3, okay? So... Okay? Like that, so... Okay? And that's how to end the solo, okay? So pretty simple stuff. So chorus B then she puts her makeup on like graffiti on the walls and then it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so then it's just gonna be octaves again like we played earlier. Index finger, fret nine, string number four. Your little finger on fret 12, string number 2, 8 times. Then down to 7 and 10, 8 times. Down to 6 and 9. This is where you're going to play it 5 times. Go up to 9 and 12, then back down. So. Okay. From there, down to 5 and 8, uh, 8 times. Up to 9 and 12, 8 times, and back down to 7 and 10, 8 times. So. Okay, then to finish off, go all the way down to 4 and 7, 8 times, and then up to 8 and 11, 8 times. So. Okay, that's the chorus there, then obviously. All you need to do is just put it all together, but it's pretty much just the same shape moving up and down the neck, okay? Right, so to end the song then, there's just um, it's just going to be one note. You can just put your middle finger onto fret 13, string number 4. And play that, okay? Or if you want to, you can play the chord shape, which is played by another guitar. And it's just going to be your index finger on fret 7, string number 6. Your ring finger on fret 9, string 5. And your little finger... Fret 9, string number 4. Okay, you can just play that part. You know, it's up to you which part you play, okay, for the outro. So that's how to end the song. That's the entire lesson for uh, Last of the American Girls by Green Day. Any questions, comments, you know, leave them in the message box below. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.